Hello guys, Sanjay here and in this video, I'm going to review MI Wi-Fi Router 3 and almost 6 months back, I reviewed the MI Wi-Fi Router 2 and I can surely say that MI Wi-Fi Router 3, the one which I'm reviewing right now, is a little bit better as compared to the earlier one. So guys, before further delay, let's get into the video. So let's start with the physical overview of this router and the router comes in only one color and that is white. Mm, I don't have much to complain but it surely acquires dust over time. So cleaning is like must for this router. Four antennas are present for this router which no one can miss for sure and this is what attracts people's eye and the connectivity or the range of the router is surely increased but I am not that happy. I'll talk about that in the later part. On the top we have MI branding and in the front we have LED which will indicate that the router is working. At the back side we have the reset button over here then a USB cable where you can plug pen drive your external hard disk or you can even charge your device from this USB port and you can access the external hard disk and the pen drive on your mobile phone with the MI Wi-Fi application or on your PC also. And not only this but if you are downloading around 30 GB of game and your phone doesn't have that much of storage then you can directly download all the files all the torrents onto the hard disk or a pen drive. So that's surely a very good thing. And I have tried this feature which works super fine earlier with the MI Wi-Fi router 2. This feature was not working even after having the USB port. So that was kind of sad but it works over here. Then we have total of 3 Ethernet ports. One is for incoming connection and two are for outgoing connections which you can connect to your PC or your laptop. Only two ports are present which is a sad thing in my opinion because I was expecting at least four ports to be there. At the bottom side you will find the QR code from which you can download the application from the Play Store or you can just search MI Wi-Fi on Play Store you will get the application directly over there. And there are multiple vents which are provided so that the router will remain cool and yes overall temperature of the router remains cool even after using it. So that was pretty much it for the physical overview and the heating part of the router. So now let's talk about the setup, connectivity and the range of this router and when it comes to setting up the device for the first time it's kind of hard for you but I have done it already with the MI Wi-Fi router too so it was kind of easy for me and if you want to see how to set up the router then I'll give the MI Wi-Fi router 2 video link in the description box below. Check out that video where I have mentioned the steps which you can follow in order to set up your router. So for setup I would rate it 6 out of 10. After this now let's talk about the range of this router and with the 4 fascinating antennas I was expecting the range to be like double that of MI Wi-Fi router 2 but unfortunately that does not happen. The range is almost similar as that of MI Wi-Fi router 2 or a little bit better. So let's assume if the range of MI Wi-Fi router 2 was 10 meters then over here it's 12 to 13 meters. It's surely not hugely noticeable but it's a little bit noticeable when it comes to range of the MI Wi-Fi router 3. Now let's talk about some of the highlighting features of this router. So it has 2.4 GHz and a 5 GHz band. 802.11 AC support is present which can go up to 1 Gbps or uh, to be precise 1167 Mbps. It has 128 MB of DDR2 RAM, 128 MB of ROM is present uh, that means NAND flash storage is present. MT7620A CPU is present which is clocked at around 580 MHz so that's a very good thing in my opinion and that is the reason why the router works super fine even if you connect a pen drive and use two Ethernet ports at the same time. Uh, that's not a heavy use by the way but still it works just fine, There's no heat up, nothing like that happens over here. Now let's talk about the PC interface and the mobile application of the router which according to me is the best feature that you can ever have with a budget router because with the budget TP-Link and D-Link routers you will not get such a good interface, you will get just a normal regular interface whereas this doesn't happen with the Xiaomi routers. So when it comes to PC interface you can see the real-time network usage, the real-time network statistics, you can allow some devices, block some devices. You can even add VPN support from over here and if you want to update your router to the latest firmware manually then you can do that from the PC. You can do that from mobile as well. So now let's switch to the mobile application from over here. You can monitor the network and you can even control the network properties. So blocking my brother's mobile phone's internet connection is very very easy from the mobile application and from the mobile application you can directly download any type of files or torrent files onto the pen drive or the external hard disk which is attached to the MI Wi-Fi router 3. If you're someone who takes a lot of photos and a lot of selfies and care a lot about them and want to back them up every day MI Wi-Fi router has got you covered. So let's assume that you have kept a separate pen drive attached to the MI Wi-Fi router 3 then all the photos which you take on your phone can be backed up directly onto that pen drive without you doing anything. You just have to enable the option once and just leave it like that. All the photos, selfies and the screenshots will be backed up onto the pen drive directly and immediately. 
So this wraps up my full review of MI Wi-Fi Router 3 and for the price of $30 to $40, I have to say that the router is very good and a solid choice. And I bought this router from banggood.com. I'll give the direct link for this in the description box below. And you can get cheapest deals on banggood.com. So don't forget to check out the link which is present in the description box below. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. And if you want to see more content like this, then do let me know about that in the comment section below. And if you guys still have any doubts, suggestions or queries regarding MI Wi-Fi Router 3, then let me know about that. Also, I'll try to answer your queries. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.